My parents are coming to visit indefinitely. Don't miss out on the fun. Hit subscribe button and join our community for more stories like this one. I've been working on slowly going no contact with my parents and have achieved low contact for the past several months since having top surgery, texting a couple times a week, calling maybe once a month. My dad just retired this past week and my parents drove out to visit my brother, who they have a good relationship with. I called them today and my dad told me they were coming to visit me next. I asked for a time frame and they didn't have a clear answer for me, they just said they would arrive this week and stay indefinitely until they felt like it was long enough to make up for all of the time we have been apart. Which is wild, because they did actually threaten to do this about a year ago, but I though they had forgotten, since it hadn't been brought up again. It is also annoying because I am moving soon, and was planning to use the move as an opportunity to cut contact without them knowing my address, but now they may be here when that happens. I'm glad I've done enough therapy and work to the point that it isn't absolutely earth-shattering for them to do this, but it's still annoying and inconvenient. I know it'll be stressful once they are here, particularly since I never told them about having top surgery. Comments Just say no. Don't answer the door. Don't talk to them. This is wildly inappropriate. Think about it. Would you do this to a loved one? If they are allowed to stay too long, they might be considered tenants, and then you have to go through the process of evicting them. Saying no at the outset is the way. Has your brother or anyone told them you're moving? The timing of the visit is a little suspicious, no. Perhaps they are onto you, and want to throw a wrench into your plans. Sorry now isn't a convenient time for me to host guests. You are welcome to get a hotel nearby and we can meet for lunch slash outings if I have some free time. If they show up at your house, pretend you aren't home. Cameras also help, so you can watch for them and then either hide or slip out the back. Texting a couple of times a week is not low contact. That is actually high contact. Low contact would be texting maybe a couple of times a year. Only talking on birthdays or holidays or something. A lot of people that go low contact haven't officially cut out their parents, but haven't talked in years. Talking to your parents multiple times every week is basically constant contact. If you think this is low contact, I shudder to think what your normal level of contact was. If they come anyway, don't answer your door and have your ringtone set on vibrate or silent. If they don't go away, call the cops. You have evidence that you told them not to come. This will count as harassment. Then, when they finally leave, get out of there. Edit. After talking with my partner, friends, other supportive people, the decision has been made to take this opportunity to go no contact, like many of you have said. Trying to set boundaries has never worked in the past, and I don't expect it to now. I plan to tell them, they are not welcome tomorrow morning, my dad's temper gets worse as the day goes on, or at least that's the excuse he uses and to let them know that if they do show up, we will call the police for trespassing. Update. The note has been sent as both a text and email, and I plan to send it as an authorized letter as well. I'm very nervous, because I know they will come regardless and will give me a hard time, but I will have to stick to my word and rely on the people around me for support. I've posted a copy of the text in the comments. And I've had a security camera lying around, in case things ever really came to this, so I have set it up, and it will notify me if anyone shows up. Thank you for all of the support, it had been really helpful for me to take this crucial step. The text. Hello, I hope you are enjoying your visit with other family. Yesterday, when you called, I was not expecting you to tell me that you would be here later this week, and needed time to collect my thoughts. Unfortunately, with our relationship as it is, I am uncomfortable seeing you, and ask that you do not come here or persist in trying to see, or talk to me despite my wishes. There have been multiple attempts made to have healthy boundaries in our relationship, but it has become clear that you do not respect me or my boundaries. You do not respect my ability to make decisions as an independent adult. You do not respect my beliefs or opinions. You do not respect me as a person. I am an independent adult. I support myself without help from you. I do not wish to see you or be in contact with you at this time and for the foreseeable future. If you show up at my home or place of work regardless of my wishes that I have communicated here, I will be calling the police. I will not be talking to you, seeing you, or spending time with you. 
I am prepared to take legal action if you refuse to respect my wishes for no further contact from you in the future. Comments This is so well worded. And you nailed the tone, clear, firm and collected. When I try to write things like that, I always sound so passive aggressive lol good for you. Good fucking job. This shit's really hard. You got this, I believe in you. Congratulations on your decision. Thankful that you have a supportive community. I understand why you may want to call them to relay the message. However, I don't think it will be best for your progress. I suggest sending a text to both of their phones with the information along with the warning. Then, block their numbers so that they can't contact you, cause they will try and try and try until they wear you down. This will hopefully allow you some peace as you prepare for your move. Good luck. Update 2. Not much of an update, but it's been 12 hours and there have been no phone calls, texts, or emails of any sort. Which honestly makes me more suspicious, because they typically spam my phone when I avoid them or upset them. Hopefully, they don't show up, but I think they will. Update 3. My parents have been texting me once a day, telling me that they do love and respect me. They also texted me today saying that they will be in my area this evening and would love to see me. I am currently trying to get a new job and my partner and I will be moving as soon as possible. Subscribe and hit the bell button for the best Reddit stories available.